The good old days have been cut for this particular video for various reasons. <laughs> Thank you so much for going down memory lane. Let me take you back and tell you the story of the Calusis. I'm talking uh, uh, Dave Calusi or Bubba Calusi, they used to call him. Uh, I'm talking about Richard or Dick Calusi. I'm talking about his uh, Dick's uh, uh, wife, uh, Joanne Calusi, and their uh, and Dick and uh, uh, Joanne uh, Calusi's son, uh, Richard Calusi Jr. Ricky, as they call him. Ricky could uh, eat a big old large pizza, a full large pizza, and, uh, all by himself. Uh, uh, there, uh, Ricky Calusi was a big boy. Uh, Dick Lucy was a big boy as well. Uh, Dick Lucy had got arrested uh, for stealing uh, uh, flowers and uh, pots and stuff like that off of uh, uh, off of uh, off of graves uh, in a cemetery. Very morbid, yes, I know. Anyway, nonetheless, he would get, uh, you know, he had gotten arrested for that, uh, did Dick Lucy, and I think he spent some time in jail and whatnot. Uh, Dave Calusi, or Bubba Calusi, if you will, uh, hung out uh, on Crocker Avenue there with uh, uh, Pam Koontz, uh, I believe was her name. Uh, I want to say it was Pam Koontz. I could be wrong on the name. But anyway, nonetheless, she had some uh, some daughters and uh, everything. They, they were the, uh, the nasty uh, family on the block, if you will, over on Crocker Avenue. Uh, I talked about Crocker a couple of times uh, here down memory lane. Anyway, anyway, nonetheless, uh, he was said to, uh, uh, you know, he, he, he'd come down there with Pam or whatever and whatnot, and uh, he uh, would do it with the girls and stuff like that. It looked like uh, my cousin John and I always said that uh, well, well, Dave or Bubba Calusi was, uh, was a child molester when it was the kids and whatnot. Funny time that was. Uh, but we, we, we just had fun with it. Uh, but uh, Dave, Dave, Dave Calusi hauled trash, and uh, he smelled like trash. Joanne Calusi. Uh, she smelled like uh, uh, she smelled like uh, uh, urine, uh, uh, piss, if you will. It smelled like she pissed herself half the time. Uh, she's missing a few teeth, if you will. Uh, she was a she was a weird uh, woman, a uh, very weird woman. But she always smelled like piss. I don't know why, but she always smelled like piss or you know or urine, if you will. Horrible. And like I said, Ricky Calusi, he was a big boy in his own right. But old Dick Calusi, old, old Dick was a riot. Uh, there about uh, during the end of uh, Dick's time, uh, he had uh, sugar diabetes, if you will, and uh, he had to get uh, all four of his fingers cut off uh, uh, from uh, gangrene and whatnot. And uh, anyway, nonetheless, Dick was just funny. You know, Dick would uh, come up with some weird stuff. Uh, uh, one thing Dick would say is, "I'm rough, I'm tough, I chew snuff. If you don't think I'm rough, I'll put you on my cuff, power your bluff, and call your bluff." And then uh, he would say, "My friend." Don't take the pig, or uh, don't take the, or don't, don't let the pig go down to the old well. And just some funny stuff uh, Dick Clusey had gotten. But like I said, Joanne Clusey smelled like pee, or uh, urine, piss, if you will. Ricky Clusey was a big boy, could eat a whole large pizza by himself. And if he was at McDonald's, he'd eat uh, two or three uh, uh, double quarter pounders and a couple large fries. Big boy was Ricky Clusey, and uh, he definitely uh, was a uh, uh, big eater. And Dick Clusey was just funny as heck. We're talking about the Calusis. I can go on and on talking about a few different things, but that's what I'll touch upon. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I'll catch you next time.